So this is how you change an Omnipod insulin pump. This is what the pump looks like. I recently just took this one off and I change it every three days. So this is usually attached to my skin like this. Um, there's a tube, I don't know if you can see it. There's a tube that sticks out right here. And that tube is inside of my skin. Sometimes this, the tape will get loose and it'll come off. Um, recently I had it on my arm and I got it caught in a car door, so the tape ripped it, made it go like that. I mean, it happens. Um, it doesn't usually happen to me too often. I've learned how to make it work. So, anyways, you need your, uh, your pump machine. And right now it says that my pod is deactivated. Um... I deactivated it because this was making a beeping noise. It's telling me it was turn time to turn it off and to change it. So every shipment I receive a box of Omnipods. Three boxes just like this one. Inside of it I've got loads of Omnipods. This each one each box has a month supply. And this is you know, the Omnipod. This is how you put it on. Now, my machine's asking me, do I want to activate a pod now? Of course. I don't have any insulin coming into my body right now. I need a pod. So, after two beeps, we have to fill the Omnipod with insulin. And hit next. So, in order to do that, you got to open box. This you'll see has not been used. There's still a tab on it so that the sticker underneath will stick to my skin. And it comes with a needle in two parts. This is just to protect the needle when it's in the packaging, but screw it together and you open it up. And then you get your bottle of insulin and you usually I don't draw up the whole thing um, I don't need that much insulin there's 300 units in here so I don't use 300 units but so then you have your insulin and you put it into the little hole right here. And you're going to hear it beep when all of it's in there. Now that means it's ready to be primed. In order to prime the machine, you got to go back over here. And it says fill a new insulin pump and press next. Now you hear little clicking. It means that the machine's pulling the insulin from here and pulling it up to here. With now after all that's done, you'll hear a little beep. Beep means it's ready. So it says prepare infusion site and remove the backing. And pretty much I gotta put this on. Now, I change this location all the time. I've put it on my arms, put it on my stomach area, my back, my lower back area. Um, I've done it once on my thigh, but um, I seemed, I felt, it felt really weird. Um, unless I was wearing shorts, it wouldn't feel so bad. Um, but it gets changed around. So, we have to remove the needle cap and put this on. So today I'm just going to put it on my arm because it's easier um, and I just had it on my arm and usually when it's cold outside I like it there. It doesn't get in the way as much. So as you can see this is the sticky part. Oops. Clearly the sticky part. And there's no needle here. The needle's going to come out in a minute once it's 
ready to go. And that goes right into me. Now it's going to say start to insert cannula. The cannula is the little plastic piece that you saw before. So I'm going to hit start. It's going to beep a couple of times. I always pinch the skin so it makes sure it goes in. And then now it's inserted. So that's my new Omnipod. That'll be there for three days. Not going anywhere, not unless I accidentally rip it off. Um, my machine is asking if my pod is properly inserted, which I felt it go in, so I know it works. So I just say yes, and it takes me back to my regular home screen. Now, I could test my blood sugar and give myself insulin if I need it, um, or I can just turn it off and put it away. That's my Omnipod. I love it.